What are sexual fetishes and how do they develop? What are the differences in the orgasm experience between men and women? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Sexual fetishes are intense sexual interest in objects, body parts, or specific situations. They can develop from early experiences, cultural influences, or even unconscious associations. Some individuals find sexual arousal by incorporating fetishes into their erotic activities. Differences in orgasm experience between men and women include physiology, duration, and frequency. Generally, male orgasms are accompanied by ejaculation and tend to be briefer, while female orgasms can last longer and don't always involve ejaculation. Women also have a greater capacity for experiencing multiple orgasms, while men often require a refractory period before being able to have another orgasm. Pornography and mental health. Excessive pornography consumption may be related to mental health problems such as depression, anxiety, and erectile dysfunction, although causality is not always clear. Pornography in popular culture. Pornography has influenced popular culture in various ways, from music to film and fashion, permeating different aspects of contemporary society. Positions that promote communication. To strengthen emotional connection, some women prefer positions that facilitate verbal and nonverbal communication with their partner, such as missionary with hugs and caresses. Post-orgasm sensations. After an orgasm, men may experience a variety of sensations, including a feeling of relaxation and drowsiness due to the release of hormones like oxytocin. Post-orgasm syndrome. Some men may experience a feeling of tiredness or drowsiness immediately after orgasm, known as post-orgasm syndrome. This is believed to be due to the release of hormones such as prolactin. Pregnancy fetishism. Some people find sexual arousal in the physical and hormonal changes associated with pregnancy. This can manifest as increased sexual interest in pregnant women. Pregnancy fetishism. Some people find sexual arousal in the physical and hormonal changes associated with pregnancy. This can manifest as increased sexual interest in pregnant women. Preparation. Time. Women tend to require more time to reach the peak state of arousal compared to men. Prolonged foreplay can be especially important in helping women reach the right level of arousal to fully enjoy sexual intercourse. Prevalence of sexually transmitted infections, STIs. STIs are common worldwide and can affect people of all ages and sexual orientations. Condom use and sexual education are important for prevention. Prevention methods. Consistent and correct use of condoms during sexual intercourse remains one of the most effective ways to prevent the transmission of STDs. Primary versus secondary anorgasmia. Primary anorgasmia refers to the inability to achieve orgasm from the onset of sexual activity, while secondary anorgasmia occurs after having previously experienced orgasms regularly. Professional support. Seeking professional help from a sexual therapist or a healthcare provider specialized in sexuality is crucial to effectively address anorgasmia and find treatment strategies tailored to individual needs. Promotion of self-knowledge. The Kama Sutra is not just about sexual activity with another person, but also emphasizes the importance of self-knowledge and personal exploration as crucial elements for a fulfilling and satisfying sex life. Psychological effects. Orgasms release various chemicals in the brain, including dopamine and oxytocin, which can have powerful effects on emotions and the connection between sexual partners. Psychological origins. Fetishes can have different psychological origins, from early childhood experiences to subconscious associations developed over time. Some studies suggest that fetishes may arise as coping mechanisms to deal with anxiety or stress. 
psychology behind fantasies. Sexual fantasies can play an important role in arousal and sexual satisfaction. They can help explore desires, experiment with roles and scenarios, and enrich a person's sexual life. Psychology of Jealousy Jealousy is a complex emotion related to possession and competition for a partner. It can arise for various reasons, including concerns about infidelity. Redefining Commitment For some couples in open relationships, commitment may mean committing to maintaining honest communication and meeting the needs of their primary partner, rather than being exclusively limited to sexual monogamy. Refractory Period In contrast to women, most men experience a refractory period after orgasm, during which they cannot reach another orgasm or erection. The duration of this period can vary significantly among men. Relation to G-spot stimulation. Some women report that anal stimulation can have indirect effects on G-spot stimulation and increase orgasm intensity. Relationship between depression and decreased sexual desire. Depression can impact sexual desire, and many individuals struggling with depression may experience a decrease in libido. Treatment and support can help address this issue. Relationship. Between sex and sleep. Sex can have benefits for sleep onset, as the release of endorphins and relaxation experienced during orgasm can help induce a state of drowsiness. Relationship with erectile. Dysfunction. Premature ejaculation and erectile dysfunction are often related, and some individuals may experience both conditions simultaneously. Relationship with medications. Some medications, such as antidepressants and antipsychotics, can cause anorgasmia as a side effect, which may complicate the treatment of this condition in some cases. Relaxation. Techniques. Practicing relaxation techniques, such as deep breathing, meditation, or yoga, can help reduce anxiety and improve sexual response in individuals with stress-related anorgasmia. Respect and consent. It is essential to respect boundaries and obtain consent from the partner during foreplay. Women should feel safe and comfortable at all times and have the freedom to stop or change the activity if they wish. Rhythm and speed. Varying the rhythm and speed of stimulation during foreplay can increase anticipation and arousal, creating a more dynamic and exciting sexual experience. Right side and left side, some research suggests that people have preferences for the right or left side during intercourse, although the reason behind these preferences remains a mystery. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality,